Welcome back to Iron Fishing, where we pursue the best bites in fresh and salt water. That means every species, any water, and all tactics. Buckle up as we showcase trophy fish and reveal how you can get on them too. All right. Maybe see a couple of oh, saw a couple of bubbles. Doesn't it feel like the ashes just went off right there? That looks like it's low, doesn't it? Yeah, there's something on there. Well, it feels like a decent one. Nope, of course, it's a freaking stick again. What is going on with this thing? I'm still on there? Yep. Oh, it's moving. Yeah, it's moving. Well, it wants to pull. It can... It's a good fish here. Sea leader. Oh, looks like a cusk. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Wow, that's a big one. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. Guys, that's a burbot. That is a burbot right there. That is a moosehead monster right there. Dude, that's bigger than five. That's got to be a seven. That is a moosehead freaking monster right there guys look at the size of that thing we're cutting this but we're keeping this thing look at the stomach on that thing look at how guys i don't know if you can see how wide that thing is all right guys official weight on it oh my god eight pounds 15 ounces nope. oh. yeah wow that's an official weight right there we got some oil heating up. We're gonna do a little fish fry, deep fat fried, and the fry later. A little cusk action. First time trying cusk, we'll see how it goes. Heard a lot of great things from the locals about it tasting like lobster. Yeah. Skeptic, just because how slimy and disgusting they look, but could see it related to the codfish. So, what I'm doing now, guys, I'm just picking out any bones that I feel. Any of those like little pin bones, like I feel one here, I felt a couple along here, so I cut them out. That is just, you don't want to be picking pin bones out as you're eating them. Just feel the fillet, you can just run your fingers up along it, feel that fillet. So to skin it, what I'll do is I'll just hold the very butt end, sometimes you can use a fork or a knife to pin that down. I just use my fingertip, angle the knife down like that. And it should just kind of smooth on right along the skin. Just go back and forth as you go, kind of flip it up, and you can see almost no meat on that. I'm going to continue. I'm going to grab the skin as I go. Get a little bit of leverage on it. Continue. And again, guys, we're no experts, but probably filleted about a dozen cusks so far. And you can see that's just skin. And then you get the skin off of it. Got this nice fillet right here, and it's pretty padded dry. So, actually, Bill, you want to just cut that up into a cusk nugget? Yeah, cut some cusk nuggets, and then we'll I've heard some that's off. a big thing, cusk nuggets. The oil's getting nice and hot. Batter action. Should I rinse those off? Yeah, definitely. I think these back strap pieces are almost when they cut them. Yeah. It's like thick. It's like that just big, big, like thick, like striated like muscles. I know. Definitely. It's good good flaky meat, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Kinda in a grit fest right now. Ran out of paper towels. Gonna dry these off with a paper Hannaford's bag. That's what it's all about, folks. Cuss nuggets. Gonna go into the batter. Do you want to rinse those? Yep, they, these have been rinsed. Work them up with my hands. What? Jesus. Got a little sprayed with oil, but it's good. Give you guys a good visual of me burning myself. 
Not bad. I'll be alright. Like I said, guys, I don't really like fish. Not even I don't really like fish. My New Year's resolution is to try to like fish. So this is all part of my plan. <laughs> Comment what you think below about someone's New Year's resolution being to like fish. Here. Not gonna lie, Billy's look pretty good. He's gonna pretty good. Really? Good, Threw in the little cuss nuggets. Just gonna mix these up. What do you think, Bill? I don't even know. After dark, like episodes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want this to become a thing like Cuskin After Dark, baby. Like late night with Mike. That could honestly work. <laughs> so these are them. Let me get you some good light here. They look pretty good. Pretty, pretty. I think it's something new, the best way to try it's fried. But I had, I did, was telling Bill, I saw some people um, boiling them in 7 Up and then eating them with butter. Saw that online somewhere. I mean, I guess they say the sweetness makes it uh, taste a little more like lobster. I don't know what's their fascination with making cuss taste like lobster, but... Yeah, this almost actually turned into one big funnel cake for the... The cuss conglomerate I have frying up right now. This is the cuss meat. Very, very mild. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't taste like much, but it has that. It almost has the consistency there. It almost has the consistency there of lobster, where it has those, like, like I was saying earlier, those kind of thick, like, pieces of muscle there. <laughs> This shit's good. Wow, it is very good. That is good. Who makes this? Shout, shout Dust, him out. Dusty Joe? Dusty Joe. I'm gonna shout Dusty Joe. Sorry. Dusty Com Joe. Completely wrong. It is Don's Chuck Wagon. Don's <laughs> Chuck Wagon. Yeah, that stuff's good. Don knows how to do a batter. Do Dude, this is like this is like OG 2008 YouTube videos. Yeah, this is probably the best fish I've had. The street fish. Yeah. I usually don't eat fish. Yeah. I can't get crazy, you know. It's a big stride for me. Yeah, I mean, I want you to eat a decent amount. Oh, no. Yeah, get, get, get three, four nuggets in. I'll get three or four nuggets in, at least. Listen, guys, I just want to talk to you. Take it off. I've never been so impressed by a fish in my life. I don't eat fish a lot. This is actually my first time liking fried fish. And this is Cusk. Cusk turned me from a skeptic to a believer. I believe in Cusk. <laughs>